Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. On um, today's video, we're just going to be showcasing and demoing Tomo Study Beta version 4.0. Um, I'm gonna show you how to install it, as well as uh, go through, obviously, a short demo of how to use Tomo Study and kind of the changes that uh, we've been going through. Um, Tomo Study released today uh, on June 3rd, 2022. Very exciting stuff. And I'm, uh, I'm happy to show it to you guys uh, today. So let's uh, first get into the installation process. I want to make this process as quick and seamless as possible. Um, right here, um, we see the Tomo Study website. Um, this will be tomostudy.com. Um, you'll see three buttons here, an about page, a download page, and a contributors page. Um, to download Tomo Study, we want to hit download and we will be uh, redirected um, to our github page on our releases page of our github and right here we'll see tomo study beta version 4.0 um, and we'll see some details um, around that right here we have how to run tomo study so first and foremost we must have java installed on our computer uh, specifically a java runtime environment um, so if we head over to the link here um, or if you just search java.com or something like that, I will be redirected to Java's website. Um, and all you have to do is download Java right here. Um, this will allow us to download uh, and run Java applications. So um, it'll automatically recognize what operating system you're on. Just want to hit download here, and then it'll give you an executable, or you know, it'll give you an executable to launch and um, you just want to run that and then you'll be able to run Java applications. So going back to um, the download page, um, all we want to do is download the jar file, um, allow trust permissions um, to the jar file. I believe uh, if you're on Windows, it may actually um, automatically work for you. And then we want to run the uh, jar file using the Java runtime environment. And I'll show you how to do that. So the file that you download is going to be this Tomo Study beta version 4.0 right here. So we can click and download that. Um, and we'll see it's at the bottom here. Um, and I'll drag this to my desktop. And so now I have it right here. Uh, Tomo Study beta version 4.0. Um, and you'll see that the type is an executable jar file. Um, if you don't see this, uh, make sure to hit open with and see, um, it might say open JDK platform binary, or it might say, I believe, um, Java TM runtime, um, something like that. So if you're on windows, you should see, um, this, um, this coffee Java image logo. Um, and you should just be able to double click that and we are in Tomo Study. There may be um, some instance where you see a Microsoft smart screen um, sort of thing that blocks unknown publishers from uh, uh, opening uh, executables on your computer. Um, I've just shown a graphic um, that you basically hit more info and then run anyway. Um, I'd, I have not heard anybody run into that with the jar file. Additionally, if you're on Linux, you will need to right click and add permissions to uh, make this file executable. Once we have all that set up and I've put, uh, put things on the screen for both of those, we can double click Tomo Study and uh, begin uh, looking at Tomo Study Beta version 4.0. So this is the uh, launcher screen. Um, this looks very familiar to our uh, beta 2.4 and beta 3.2. Um, however, it looks a little different. We got a little dark mode going on here. Really like the colors. Um, we have two buttons here, new profile and load profile. They do essentially what they did in the old ones respectively. Um, the load profile um, can actually load profiles from uh, different Tomo study versions as well. So versions uh, 2.4 and versions uh, 3.2 are automatically updated. Um, you don't have to go through a profile updater and I'll demonstrate that real quick. So this is a Tomo study uh, version uh, 2.4 um, and I'll make a new profile here. So we'll call this uh, uh, user 2.4 and Tomo 2.4. Um, I'll set my language to be Spanish, um, just so you can see that that 
uh, translates as well. Um, and here we have the prompt to save our profile. So this will be our, our profile that's from 2.4. We'll hit save and we'll see this is what Thomas Day looked like during uh, 2.4. So if we go into um, uh, our load profile, if I wanted to load that file, we see that that file is right here in our documents folder. Um, this was made in 2.4, but as you see, if I open it here in uh, 4.0, it updates seamlessly. Um, you can see that I have the Spanish language selected. Um, if I go to statistics here, you can see my Tomo's name is Tomo 2.4. My user is uh, 2.4 as well. Um, you also get an achievement um, by uh, updating your profile right here as well. So you can see that that works um, just as we would um, expect it to. Um, and this also works for um, beta 3.2. So I'll demonstrate that real quick as well. This is a beta 3.2. Um, so let's make a new profile here. Um, we'll call it user 3.2 and Tomo 3.2. We'll set our language this time to Portuguese and our difficulty will be, we'll make it challenging. Um, and then we'll sit here, we'll go profile 3.2. And uh, respectively, this is what beta 3.2 looked like. Um, now let's load it into beta 4.0 we can just hit load it's saved in the exact same spot as last time profile uh, 3.2 I open this and uh, as we see um, we are now back in and you can see I have Portuguese language um, set I'll just go switch it to English real quick um, so I have the English language set I got challenging difficulty and my username set and so is my Tama now I want to um, I want to showcase all the changes and stuff to uh, Tomo Study uh, Beta version 4.0. So if you if you're new to Tomo Study and you've never used it before, um, obviously this is the button you want to click. Uh, create new profile, and this will uh, allow us to make a username, uh, enter our Tomo name, and choose our language and um, our difficulty. Um, these are all pretty straightforward, um, peaceful. Difficulty essentially means that your Tomo won't um, won't have any consequence um, if it's not fed or um, or kept happy. It won't pass in a sense. Um, challenging, uh, the opposite happens. Your Tomo will receive three strikes depending on uh, the condition of it. Um, and after you achieve those three strikes, your Tomo will pass, and you'll have to start over with a brand new Tomo. Um, in the future, there will be a feature to actually look at your past Tomos um, in case that happens to you. Um, but yeah, um, that is challenging mode. Um, if you want to read more specific information, definitely go to our About uh, page on the website, tomostudy.com. Um, that definitely has plenty of information. Um, so we're going to load a profile. I've actually loaded a profile here, Tomo file. Um, this is a beta 4.0 profile that I've created, and we're going to just showcase um, everything. So this screen is the title card screen, similar to what we've seen with uh, pretty much everything we've looked at so far. Um, nothing too exciting, our, our nice, uh, nice animation logo um, here. And you'll see that instead of having kind of different windows open up, um, we now have this uh, menu bar which uh, opens out on the left side. Uh, our biggest uh, change of this uh, release is actually our graphical user interface. So we now have this uh, left side uh, menu bar which holds kind of our different dir our different scenes. So um, we're on the title card right now so if I click that we won't actually change. Um, we'll just remain on the title card. But if I hit uh, focus this is going to be the main one that we're primary on. Um, so uh, as we can see, this is this looks pretty familiar. We got our Tomo on the left side and our timer on uh, the right side. If you've used Tomo Study before, this is pretty much what the regular interface um, would look like. Um, here we have our, our Tomo's name, our Tomo's level. We got a nice background and our Tomo image, respectively. Um, and here we can see um, the Tomo's happiness. And the Thomas hunger right now, uh, the happiness is six and the hunger is five. Um, and then on the right hand side, 
we have our um, we have our focus timer. Um, right now, I'm actually in the Pomodoro mode, um, so I have a number of sessions, session length, and break length options that I can set for my focus time. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the Pomodoro technique, uh, definitely go read up on that. This is one of uh, the more popular uses of the application. And respectively, we can start our focus timer and uh, break our focus if we were to do that. Um, we'll get back to the different timers here in a second, but I just want to show the other scenes before we uh, do that. So the shop is a little bit different uh, this time around. Um, we have our food shop on the left hand side and the background shop on the right hand side. Um, and we kind of have our, our dialogue here in the middle and we can see how many Tomo tokens uh, we currently have. So um, I can purchase food and uh, backgrounds in the same place now. Um, they're not two separate shops, which is nice. Um, and I can actually demonstrate uh, purchasing both of these since I have enough Tomo tokens. Um, if we look back at our fo focus, um, we can see that my Tomo's hunger is at five, which is not max. The max is a, is a 10. So I can go to the shop and actually purchase, um, let's purchase this one. So I have, um, I can purchase this one for 200 Tomo tokens, um, and it'll fill three of our hunger points. So I can hit purchase here, and I'll get a dialogue here that says purchase for 200 Tomo tokens, yes or no. Well, I want to do that, so I can hit yes, and we'll see it get subtracted from my total balance, and I can go back to my focus and see that my Tomo is now satisfied a little bit more than it was before. So going back to the shop, um, we have backgrounds. Um, which we've seen here before so I can change that um, and these are added to our inventory um, upon purchase so let's say I want to change my background to this one here I can purchase it since I have enough Tomo tokens here and hit yes here we'll see that my balance goes down obviously and then we can go over here to our inventory tab our inventory at the moment only holds background since that's the only holdable item at the moment. But uh, we see that I have these three set backgrounds. I have the default background right here. Uh, the background that I had currently set um, from a previous version of Tomo Study, which was in my inventory. And then I have the background that I just purchased. And if I, if I select this, we'll see that it says my background was changed. And I also got an achievement, um, Customizer 2. So let's uh, go check that out real quick. Um, let's first note that our background did change, obviously. And um, if we go to our achievements, we'll see that uh, we got Customizer 2, which is uh, Change Your Tomo's Background, um, which is uh, really exciting. This is also our achievement screen. I've already showed this off uh, once, um, but different kind of achievements that you can get uh, in Tomo Study. Um, moving on, I have yet to look at the themes um, page. So this is kind of how you can change the theme of Tomo Study. So we have a dark mode, a light mode, um, and then we have uh, kind of our classic themes from uh, older versions of Tomo Study. So if I want to switch to classic red, I can do that here. You can see I get an achievement for doing that as well. Um, and then we can see that Tomo Study is kind of like how it used to look like um, when I pulled up the other older versions of Tomo Study, and respectively we can do that with um, with all these uh, other different colors, um, respectively. And so we'll go on to statistics. Um, I've shown this a little bit, um, but this is pretty straightforward. It shows how many hours uh, you focused, your join date when you made your profile, how many achievements you've unlocked, and what your Tomo level is. And depending on where you're at in Tomo study in total of how many hours you've studied and how many achievements you've unlocked, you'll see uh, golden stars appear here. This profile doesn't have any at the moment, um, but that is definitely something to look out for as you use the application. Um, and finally, um, we're actually coming to the end pretty, pretty quickly. Um, we have a settings page and about page. The about page is pretty straightforward. We just have uh, links that you can go to um, to get help or uh, socials that you can follow. Um, and I would like to add at this point, um, if you have any questions about the application or find a bug or something, um, go here on our Discord server and uh, contact me. That's probably the fastest way to, to contact me about um, anything Tomo study related. Um, but yeah, let's go into settings. Um, this is pretty straightforward, kind of the different settings that you can uh, 
change when you use Thomas Dunny. So right now I'm on the Pomodoro mode. You see that we have access to change our focus mode. So we also have a custom interval countdown timer. So if I set myself to this, we'll see that our focus tab um, will just be this uh, minute and second uh, timer. And we can set that all the way up to uh, 90 minutes here. Um, and this will just be a one session timer. So after it ends, uh, there will be no like designated break or anything like that. And the same thing is for the five interval countdown timer, except that our um, incrementations of our boxes are in five minutes just to make it a little bit more faster um, to find there. Um, we also have option to change our language. It's pretty straightforward. Um, change our difficulty. I've explained what the difficulties um, do. Once again, uh, if you have uh, more questions regarding that, um, go look at our uh, about page on thomasstudy.com. Um, an alarm sound. Um, so we have uh, three different alarm sounds and we have a no sound option. This is the sound that plays after your focus session is complete. And uh, finally, we have achievement notifications. So you've seen a few of those pop up uh, through the course of this demo. Um, we can turn them on or off depending on uh, what we're feeling. So um, I could turn them off here. And then if I were to go back to my achievements, I have yet to get the Tomo full achievement, which is uh, um, achieve when my Tomo reaches maximum hunger. And I can actually do that real quick. I can purchase uh, this one, which will fill my Tomo to max hunger. I have enough money for that. So I will go do that. And we'll see that I don't get a notification for that achievement, but it indeed does get fulfilled here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much um, about it for uh, Tomo study beta version 4.0. Um, if you enjoyed watching this demo video or um, enjoy using Tomo study, uh, leaving a star on the GitHub repository is uh, much appreciated as well as uh, if you want, you can uh, support um, the project on Patreon. Thank you to all of the people that have uh, supported my project and um, other things on this YouTube channel on Patreon. It really means a lot to me. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you were here. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you can get something out of Thomas Study.